All right, so I'm going to be going over the difference uh, between uh, American Great Dane and uh, European Great Dane. So this is my Great Dane Blue. He's about 10 months old. Uh, weighs about 130 pounds already. As you can see there, he can uh, he can jump up pretty high. Oh, there you are, buddy. <laughs> you see himself in a mirror the other day. He was like barking like crazy. Ah, uh, yeah, he can actually jump a little bit higher than that too. But so he's a very athletic dog. So today I'm just gonna go over some of the difference between the American and the European ones. As you can see, there's a good side shot there. Mostly the big difference is in their head. You can see how the snout's kind of long there. A European is gonna look more like uh, a boxer. So it's gonna have a scrunched up nose, wrinkles, uh, the, the lips, let's see if you can get a side there. See how you got some lips hanging down there. Uh, Europeans will have a lot more, yeah, a lot more drool too. An American one, they'll be a lot straighter with less lips. Here, blue, look here. So you can see, but he is a mix, so he has European in him. I was gonna get a DNA test to see actually, actually how much it is. You don't need much European in it for them to have any kind of features of a European. You, when you buy them, you wanna buy what kind of dog you like. There's really not much difference. I like the American because they're a little bit leaner. Uh, like a European's more fat on them, so you tend to go heavier anyway, but I like a lean dog. Blue's very lean, very muscular. Uh, I don't really like the scrunched up nose and all the drool goes with it. His, he actually don't drool that bad unless he gets excited, then it's, then it's on. <laughs> There's slobber flying everywhere. So if you do, if you're buying a Great Dane for the first time, you just see what the mom looks like, see what the dad looks like, uh, see what the pup looks like. And that's basically all you're buying is whatever kind of dog that you like that you want to look at. You can see how how lean he is. A European will be bigger belly, a little bit fatter, a little bit heavier. Uh, so that's why I got him because well he was actually the last one in the litter, and he would just look so cute there, like you know. So that's what that's kind of one of the reasons you got him too. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a walk and a talk here about like the pros and cons of them, but it's kind of just started picking up rain like crazy now. But most most Great Danes in America, they are American Great Danes. Uh, you can buy 100% Euro dogs. You just gotta talk to the breeders and whatever you want. You just gotta talk to them. Like I said, I kind of like Blue because he's kind of in between. Like I think he's a really good looking dog. Everybody likes him too. And what else can you say about the guy? I say he's 10 months old, I say 130 pounds. And like I said, Americans, Europeans usually the males, he's a male. They'll got 200 pounds. Uh, Americans might run a little bit lighter, but I just seen Lady Up the Road has an American and it's like 180. And they grow they grow to the age of two. So he was he's kind of still keep growing. And he'll be close to 200 pounds. I bet you he'll get 200. But, Let's see, I'm going to wait to see if the rain looks like it's slowing down. There's another dog over there too, so maybe we'll do the like, pros and cons see if he uh, attacks some dogs or not, huh? He's looking like he wants to. <laughs> Yeah, it slowed down enough rain, we're just going to go for a nice little walk, huh, Blue? He, he don't care. He's up for a walk any, any time. That's one of the pros. There's a lot of pros, but we'll get into... Let's see the guy's up there walking. Ah, we'll get into the, the cons, I guess. Uh, they're obviously big, so they do need a lot of space to run. Eat a lot of food. <laughs> a lot of food. I mean, they eat a pile of food. He eats at least 20 pounds of kibble uh, a week. So, hey, I get him expensive food too. So, it's it gets expensive for sure. Uh, they poop a lot. Obviously, they eat more. They poop more. Uh, they are not the smartest dog for sure. And I'm not, I'm not the smartest guy either. So, I'm not going to worry about that too much he's actually he's pretty good but i had other dogs they're pretty intelligent him not so much <laughs> but uh, other cons uh they are a little bit aggressive especially the males and 
he's not fixed either so we're gonna bring them out so they do they can get aggressive especially on certain people uh which this is it kind of segues right into the pros it's one of the good pros i really do like about them they are actually really good guard dogs that's what they're originally intended for uh his house like my house he's extremely protective of it if somebody comes up and knocks at the door we have a fence in the yard they come to the fence uh he goes ballistic but like right now it's not walking around should have took him up to people so you can see that he's cool as a cucumber you know you can walk up and pet him and there's other certain people i don't know you know if they're bad people but he will uh he'll let you know he doesn't like them that's for sure so the other pros i'm a very loyal dog sometimes he pees funny too big intelligent thing <laughs> very loyal dog like i work all the time usually all day and all night boy i knew it would be close brother made it back with 20 gallons of spare now we're good to go again i'm not though but uh he's always he's always with me most part uh so anytime hopping the truck he's there which is awesome he's my bud yeah uh, it's actually supposed to be a wife's dog but i think he likes me better don't tell her that yeah the other pros we got here yeah, I got other pros, I guess. Uh, he's good with other dogs. I mean, he never really had... He plays a little rough sometimes. The other dogs don't know how to take him. Big dog just playing a little bit rough. Same with people, too. He plays rough with people. It's probably my fault because I play rough with him. Uh, he has tons of energy, for sure. He's always up for a walk, huh, buddy? Blue, want to see if you can jump high now? Can you get the rope? <laughs> Yeah, he got some, he got some uppity. I mean, I'm six two, six one, something like that. And every day I come home, he like jumps up, puts his hands on my shoulders, gives me a big old hug. So a very lovely dog. Uh, they do have their health problems. They don't live that long. That's why I call them the heart heartbreaker breed. You do get attached to these guys, that's for sure. It's funny because like I said, he's my first one. I always had pit bulls before, and uh, he's my first Great Dane. And yeah, you do get attached to these guys. From your buddies. So, uh, like I said, that's it. Just wanted to talk about the difference between the European and Americans. Like I said there's not that big of a difference. It's just all what yeah, what kind of look you like, you know. So go go meet the breeders. Go see other ones. Uh, meet your parents. Like I said, he was the last one there. He was just so cute looking. Like I loved the way his face was. I don't like. I don't really like the European that's scrunched up. Even boxes. I mean, I like all dogs, but I just I, I, I like him because he's kind of in between. So we're gonna bring him out and get some puppies. His name's Blue. I want to get two more. Call him Red and White. That way we have Red, White, and Blue. <laughs> but that's it. Maybe if I can hit the stop button. Rain. The rain! Blue! It's raining blue!